How you doing today guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Alex and Alex and today we're actually going to be working on the Mongoose Otter, the custom painted that I did a while back. Uh, I don't remember if a while back I made a quick short or a quick video where he was actually riding this bike or not. If not, he was able to ride it but it was a little bit too big it's uh, so if you can remember i'm running 29s over here and we're gonna be changing so far so hopefully it'll fit them better uh let me show you how he looks on it riding and let's get to work so as you can see he's he's in and he can ride it go ahead but he's he's on his tippy toes but he can ride it but it's a 29 so hopefully how do you feel about it alex How do you feel about it? You can talk? Um, kind of. A little too tall? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna make some modifications on this thing. We're gonna swap those to 27 and a half. We're gonna change those cranks because there's 170, they're 175s. And hopefully that will make him ride it a little bit better. And uh, let's go do that. Now, another thing that I wanna achieve is the stance of this bike on the front. We have a Michelin uh, 2.4, it's a wild Enduro, while at the back I just got a Continental X-King, which is 2.2, and it's pretty narrow, but that's the widest I can fit on this one, and it doesn't look too aggressive. It does on the front, but the rear is not that good, so that's one of my hopes to accomplish, was, that's one of the things that I hope to accomplish with the stance, changing the stance and the look to make it more aggressive with those 2.6 tires really aggressive on this bike so let's get to work on that so right here we have a few of the parts that we're going to be using we got some uh, hillbilly tires the ones that i have on my other bikes but these are 650s b's by 2.6 these are specialized i got them whenever i'm special for like 13 dollars i have a set of them i'm not gonna run tubeless right now but i have the original tubes for the adder and there are, these are actually the stock wheels from the adders that are relays for a true axle right here. I just made some stickers. And on this one, I also have a WT, uh, Novatech hub. I think so. this one is a Cooser hub at the front. Novatech at the rear, but this one has the quick release end cap. So this is going to work perfect for the application. And of course, I got the... Uh, Right here I have MPX X11. I think I had this on my uh, Polygon Siskiyou T8 when I replaced the ones that currently are on the Otter are the originals that came on the uh, Polygon Siskiyou T8. I replaced them with the same brand, but these are 170s. I couldn't find some 160s at a reasonably price, so I'm gonna stick with the 170s for now. So hopefully with the tire size to 27 and a half instead of a 29 it'll make a big difference and of course i got my uh, my compressor with the gauge right there to inflate the tires and of course some of the miscellaneous tools that we're going to use it cassette remover allen heads and other than that i'm not going to make you watch the whole thing I'm just going to do a quick time lapse and enjoy the music and i'll be right back All right, so the cranks are done. What do you think? Was it easy, hard? Easy. Easy. What do you learn about trading the opposite side? Um, at the same um, um, like you go the same way as this one. Okay, very good. Reverse trade. So now let's go ahead and move the bike to the side so that we can go ahead and install the tires. What do you think? All right.
Now for the front wheel, since that is a 15 by 110, we're gonna need spacers. I was able to find the side ones right there and I already put the other one right here, but I couldn't find the actual spacer for the disc brake. So I went into my little shed and here it is. So I'm gonna take that disc brake out and use that spacer, put it into the new one and we'll be good to go. Final touches, it was just putting in the valve stem caps. But it's done. It's done, guys. It's done. Does it look better now? Yeah. More aggressive? Yeah. Let's take it for a ride. All right, let's see the struggle to get in. What do you think? Much it's easier? Easy. It's easy. Let's go. It's all right. Did a bad turn there. Can you reach better now? Huh? Can you reach better? Yeah. Go, keep on going. Ah. Let me take it for a spin. All right. All right, let's see. Gotta say that 27 and a half is not my strong, but this thing looks like it should now. It's riding pretty damn well. I know I got tubes and everything, but it's barely gonna be used. And whenever he uses it, that's all he needs. He's got air rock shots, suspension on it. Got a box, I think it's a box two, box four. And the tech. It's nice, right? It's good. Yeah. Let's take it inside. Let's the pause. All right, so here's their stance of the bike with 27 and a half. It does have a 29 inch fork, but that's okay. I'm not thinking about changing that right now. It's now got the Hillbilly grid tires on it. Great tread on it. It is not tubeless. It's got a 170 crank arms. It's got the box, I think it's the box four, the one that is a speed uh, shifter and derailleur. And it's got like an embedded clutch into it. So it's great that I didn't change any of those components. I don't have a dropper post for this yet. The saddle is slammed all the way forward to better fit him. It still has the 35 millimeter handlebars that came on my T8 and it's got the Maroka four piston brakes on it. None of that has changed so far. And uh, hopefully we can take it to a trail one of these days and ride together. But other than that, what do you think about your bike? It's better than before. It's better than before, huh? Yeah. And it yeah. does look more, way more aggressive. I wish I could have fit 29 inch tires, those tires, the 2.6 on it, but I just couldn't. So this is gonna do for now. Those are the stock wheels that I relays the back has a Novatech hub, quick release caps, and the front has a 15 by 100 cruiser that I laced up on the same spokes and everything, and if everything's good to go, all we gotta do is ride it. All right, guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for this one. I, I'm glad that I was able to work with my son today. He learned a little bit of the mechanics behind the scenes. We'll make some modifications as he progresses and as needed. But for now, he's going to be able to ride this bike, maybe some shorter handlebars in the near future. But other right. than that, they're all right. He says they're all right. They're 780s. He feels them all right, but we'll see. Other than that, I hope that you like this video. And subscribe to my channel and his channel. Let's ride. Bye.